Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytelling with Seth. This is actually episode number 83, and I was lucky enough this time around to, in a matter of days, be connected with the creators of an amazing comic book series known as Space Bastards. Great thing about Space Bastards, well, it's an amazing story with great art. And I got the chance to sit down with Eric Peterson and Joe Aubrey, the creators and writers behind this really fun comic book about the intergalactic postal service. Intrigued? You should be. Join me now as I get the chance to delve into the first issue, explore so many of the elements that they have created in this futuristic and fantastic universe, and what might be in store. Not only that, but stay tuned to the end because we talk about this great Kickstarter program that is launching on the first day this episode is being released. That's correct, January 18th. It's a Kickstarter for Space Bandits and your opportunity to consider reading the book in more than one format. Trust me, you'll understand by the time you get to the interview. Look forward to hearing your thoughts on this one. For now, without any further ado, let us dive into Space Bastards with Eric Peterson and Joe Aubrey. Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytelling with Seth. I am lucky enough to put together in very short time a uh, conversation I've been looking to from the moment I picked up a book I was previously unaware of known as Space Bastards. Here to tell me just a little bit more about it and maybe answer a few questions that I have and I can imagine any reader or listener might have as well. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Eric Peterson and Joe Aubrey. Gentlemen, how are you both? Doing great. Thank you for having us. Excellent. Thank you very much. Ah, it, it's my pleasure. I want to go ahead and just give a quick credit to my good friend, Tony Farina, who introduced me to Hannah. And it was Hannah who just moved this along the pipeline so quickly that within a matter of hours, barely days, we were able to uh, get me a copy, allow me to read over what I never expected to read, which is a story about an intergalactic postal service. And along the way... <laughs> see you guys do some amazing things like build a world and and show a character go through a pretty dramatic transformation in just one issue um who who came up with space bastards like just let's get right into that you know it's a great title but uh you know does one claim that was it just a conversation did someone come up with space and bastards Did someone come up with bastards in space and then flip it you know who wants to start I don't know who really came up, but I don't remember who came up with the actual title itself. Um, I will say Space Bastards has been with us for a long time. Uh, Davey Proton, who's in, who you see in issue one, started as uh, doodles on my notebook in junior high uh, out of kind of just an excuse to do like more space adventures with like scoundrels and, and heists and, you know, that kind of, that stuff that we just sort of got a glimpse of in Star Wars and all that. And then... Um, as I got older, I, I went to film school and rather than do kind of like the, the classic, like film school, short film, you know, of like a, a, dr a drug trip or like a deal gone wrong or, or all the normal tropes, um, we built me and my, some, me and my friends like built spaceship sets in my backyard and my garage. And we, we filmed the adventures of Davy Proton, which eventually turned into space bastards. And it, and it was there making those films. Um, really where in a way I met both of my co-creators. I met Joe in person uh, and we became fast friends. And then also too, around that same time, I was diving into Vertigo books and I, I know for sure I was reading Transmetropolitan around that same time as well and, and, and becoming familiar with Derek Robertson as a, as a creator and as an artist. Thank you for bringing him into that, uh, to this part of the conversation because Transmetropolitan was one of those books that just it was a lot of fun for me. I mean, it, it, it took a poke and a dive at every sort of future concept. Um, you know, for me, there was just a great deal of consideration that I had afterwards for everything from cryogenics to all the topics and politics that that was, uh, you know, able to address in such sure. a really fun way. Um, so then, you know, David Proton, it sounds like, came out of this really fun, or Davey, um, 
which I'm sure will be fun to talk a little bit about that too, uh, came out of these really great film projects. This this whole idea of this character and the space bastards. And from that point, how then does one find a way to, to put them on the comic page? Well, the, the you know, these videos, these movies where we're making, you know, these short films, they never really um, met our, our expectations. We really could never make them um, into what we were really wanting you know we had good actors or sometimes we'd have decent special effects but uh and sometimes the writing was okay but it just never really congealed you know and, and we were really limited by time and having to have a huge crew or you know or, or a lot of people who were agreed to do this for nothing and uh at one point eric had, you know had already made he kind of dabbled in, in comics and made a couple of comics and and we kind of talked about it and thought well you know we can uh, we can just we can just turn this into a comic book and maybe realize this in, a, in much better uh, that way, and um, that's when it you know sort of took off and we we honed in on on making it into a into a uh, comic project, um, and got Derek involved eventually. Yeah. Okay. So you had moved into comics a little bit, Eric. Tell me about, you know, just what that foray was like, a uh, title that, that people may or may not have heard of, and, and what your experience was like in forming how you could then use that to, to do Space Bastards. Sure. So um, I had started by doing, like, a one-shot when I was pretty young, just to kind of, like, see if I could do it, and printed, like, 100 copies and sold them and stuff, just to kind of, like, get, you know, I've always been a comic book fan, I've been a screenwriter because I went through film school and everything, but and I worked in TV, but I, I, I didn't really know. I wanted to kind of like make sure I, I understood more about the, the the whole process of working with an artist and all that. And then, but really, I think my my largest success before Space Bastards in the comic world was a comic book called Jesus Christ in the Name of the Gun, uh, which was like a three graphic novel series. Uh, the first volume, um, I, I worked with Ethan Nicole from Axe Cop. And then uh, yeah. an artist named Ryan Cody on the second volume, and then an artist named Gabo on the final third volume. So whole thing was like 400 pages. I learned quite a lot about production through that, and and kind of what I would not want to do again in terms of writing or or, or like different pitfalls to kind of watch out for. Even though that wasn't the first thing I wrote, it was definitely I think the longest format comic I was kind of I had undertaken at that time, and and so I knew about that. I had met Derek. Uh, around like 2010, like kind of in the midst of that, or maybe 2011, and um, him and I became good friends or, and, and and kind of uh, casual friends there over the course of the years. And then uh, Joe had asked me, it was Space Bastards, when we kind of decided to dip our toes back in, but in the comic format around 2014 or so, he had asked me if there was any uh, artist that I would want to work with on that um, to really try and elevate this. And and I think because of I think because of um, how much I love. Derek's work elsewhere and everything. Derek was kind of like my first pick. So um, I cajoled him. I like poked him and, and asked and asked and asked over a series of, I don't know how long. And, and uh, eventually we were, we were able to do it. And, and um, yeah, and I'm super thankful for it because I, it really did elevate space bastards to what it is today. And, and uh, taught me a lot as well about kind of the, the process more. And, and, and he's just wonderful to work with. It's just been really great uh, having him involved. 